In this video, I'll be reviewing Easy HDRI, which is a really great Blender add-on for adding, managing, and adjusting your HDRIs. So the add-on was created by Code of Art, and I'll have a link in the description to their Gumroad page and their YouTube channel. And the add-on is actually completely free. So to download the add-on for free on Gumroad, you can just punch in zero into the price box, and then you can download the add-on for free. Now, if you'd like to help support me and the creator, then I do have an affiliate link in the description to the product on Gumroad. So you can, of course, just put in zero into the price box and download for free, or you can put in a few dollars into the price box to send a tip, or just put in whatever amount you think the add-on is worth. And if you use my affiliate link to purchase then I'll earn a small commission so that's a great way to help support me and the add-on creator. But I only recommend content to my audience which I really stand behind. So once you download the add-on zip file, you're just going to drag the add-on zip file and just drop it into Blender, and then you're just going to click on OK to install from disk. So after I install the add-on, I'm just going to click here on Edit, and I'm going to go to the User Preferences, and then right here on the User Preferences, if you click over on Add-ons, you can search for Easy, and it should be installed. Just make sure that checkmark is turned on so the add-on is installed, and then also you can save the User Preferences so the add-on is always turned on in your future projects. Now there's a few settings of the add-on. So first there is the default folder. So you can set a default folder where the add-on will get the HDRIs. So I'll just click on the folder. Then I'm going to locate to my folder with my HDRIs and I'm gonna to go to the 1K version because I usually like to use just 1K. So I'll go in here and then I can click on accept. And so these HDRIs that I download are from polyhaven.com. If you haven't heard of Polyhaven, it's a really great website for downloading free high quality HDRIs. So I'll have the link to that in the description. So now the add-on can get all the HDRIs from from that folder. The next option here is rotation. And so this is the rotation values for actually rotating the HDRI with the add-on. So there's a few different settings. You can show and hide the text. You can also change the text color and a few other settings, but I'm just gonna leave this how it is on default. There is also a shortcut key. So you can use a custom shortcut key. On default, it's set to control W, or you can actually click on this shortcut and then add your own custom shortcut. And that's gonna rotate the HDRI. And I'll show you how to use this feature later in the video. The last setting is the UI for user interface. So first there is add-on location. So you can either have the add-on on the 3D view, which is going to be on the inside properties panel, or if you want to, you can change it to world. And that way it's going to show up in the world properties in Blender. I'll just leave it to 3D view for now, but I might change it over to world because that actually makes sense since when you go to the world settings, that's where you're going to add HDRIs. You can also change the tab name if you have it on the side panel. And then there's also thumbnail size. So I'll just leave it at regular, but if you find the thumbnails are a bit too large and you want to be able to see more of them, you could change it to small or large. So once you change the settings, I'll just save the preferences. You can really leave all these settings how they are, but I would recommend just adding a folder on the default folder for where you're going to add the HDRIs. So I'll save the preferences and then I can close Blender. So I can now hit the N key to open up the side panel and I can scroll right down here and here's the easy HDRI add-on. Or if you've enabled it to be turned on in the world properties, if you go here to the world properties, there's going to be a tab here for the add-on. So now if I click right here, you can see here are all of my HDRIs in that folder. So I can easily just click here and then I can just click on different HDRIs. If you want to change the folder, you can also click on this file icon right here and then you can choose a different directory, but I've just saved it here in my HDRIs folder. So let's just go into the rendered viewport mode so I can see this. Now to actually add in the HDRI, you first just need to choose an HDRI and then you can click on the create world nodes and that will actually add the HDRI into Blender. Now you can also click on these arrows here and you can switch between different HDRIs. So this is so useful, especially because when I'm working on a scene or maybe I'm making a procedural material, I like to quickly switch between HDRIs and I want to be able to see which HDRIs look good for that scene. And so instead of going here to the world properties, clicking here and choosing like environment texture and then opening up an HDRI and just changing all the different HDRIs, it takes a lot of time. So this really speeds up the process. If you already have a folder with lots of HDRIs, you can very quickly just switch between them and you can find an HDRI that looks nice. For example, I think this one looks really nice on the monkey head. I like all those cool reflections. Now, another amazing feature of the add-on is you can just hit Control w That is the default shortcut key. You can change the shortcut key in the user preferences, but you can see I can just hit Control w and then I can rotate the HDRI. So for example, let's just use like this Studio Small. And so this one has really sharp lighting because if I kind of zoom out here, you can see it just has a few different studio lights. And so maybe I want to rotate the HDRI because I don't like how the lights are. So I can just hit Control w Then I can move my mouse around and I can just change it and get it to look how I want. So it's 
it's really customizable and this is so much faster than doing it manually inside a blender. Now this dice icon is going to randomly pick a random HDRI so that's very useful if you really just don't know what kind of lighting you want and you just want to quickly jump through some HDRIs. You can also click here on the search and I could for example type in like sky and then I can just see the ones that say sky or I could type in like evening and for example here is like a few evenings so I have this evening road I could also type in evening again and here's winter evening so this is very useful as well using the search now the circle arrows here is going to reload the hdri thumbnails so if for some reason the thumbnails aren't loading up or maybe you added some new hdris just click on that and that's going to reload the thumbnails you can also click on this button here this is a star icon for the favorites and so this is going to have favorites for different folders so if you have multiple different folders like maybe you have sky hdris indoor hdris evening hdris and you want to go Go to different folders then what you can do is click on this button to choose a folder and then you can click on the star icon and then if i click here on the drop down you can see there is my folder with my hdris so you could have different folders with different hdris i'm just going to delete this so i'll click on the x and then remove from favorite also there's a gear icon which has some more technical settings one really useful setting is to remove unused images because every time you add an hdri it's going to add that hdri data into blender and so that can add a lot of memory to your computer so if you click on the gear icon and then remove unused images it's going to remove any extra hdris that you're not using another amazing feature is the transparent button so if you click on the checker that's going to make it transparent and this is super useful because many times when i'm creating like a 3d scene or maybe I'm doing like a product render or something, I might want a transparent background. And so you can, of course, just go over to the render properties, go to film and turn on transparent, but this button will just do it for you really quickly. And then there's also a few more settings here underneath the main add-on settings. Now these arrows here are gonna change it to the default settings. So if you don't like how the settings are, you can just click here to change it back to the default settings. So for example, there is the sun strength and the sky strength. So let me just choose like this sky one here. And so if I just take a look at this, you can see there is a sky right there and there is a sun. So if I just turn this up, that's gonna make the sun a lot brighter and then there's also the sky strength which is just going to change the overall brightness of the sky and then of course you can also change the rotation right here but it's a lot faster just to use the shortcut key of Control w there's also the background display so original is just going to show the hdri there's also solid which will let you choose a solid color so that could be useful for a lot of things sometimes i just go to blender's compositor and i just add like a solid color but this way you could just add a solid color here in the add-on settings and there's also a strength for that and then another amazing feature is the blurred setting so i can choose blurred and then i can click on generate blurred image and so this is actually going to create a blurred image and so that's very useful just for adding like some nice blurred environment lighting for example maybe this one right here and you can see that it's nice and blurred whereas the original image has all these little details here and it kind of looks kind of pixelated but if I blur it that just adds like a nice subtle background so if I just wanted to render something with a nice kind of ambient background I could use that blurred and just so that you're aware in your file browser when you blur an image if you go to the folder with your HDRIs you can see it says easy HDRI blurred images so the add-on actually created a folder on your computer and then it created a blurred version so I just wanted to make you aware of that the add-on is going to create a new folder here with the blurred version of that HDRI in the fold and then there's also some color settings so you can basically do like some color correction to the HDRI so for example let me just choose like a sky one again so this nice sky one let's say that I want it to look a bit more blue I could turn up this factor and then I could just change the tint to like a blue color and you can see if I turn up the factor it's going to be more of that blue so this would be a nice way just to do a little bit of color correction if I wanted a very kind of blue sky and then there's also gamma so I can change like the brightness of this so there's more gamma or less gamma and then also the saturation of the colors and then finally there is a sun lamp and this is really useful so what I can do is I can go to the add menu and I can just go to light and just add a sunlight let me just bring the sunlight right up here but let's say that I want the sunlight to be positioned at the same exact rotation as the light in the HDRI because if I rotate the light kind of over here we now have one light which is going down this way but then we also have the sunlight which is going down from this direction well what I can do is click on the eyedropper here and then choose this sunlight and then what I can do is click on this align button which looks like some little chains so I'll click on align and this way the sunlight is going to be exactly aligned to the same light in the HDRI and so that that way there isn't any inconsistency in the lighting in the HDRI and then there's also a few more settings to change the sunlight like the color strength and angle 
So as you can see, this add-on is extremely useful. It's really gonna speed up my workflow and I'll be using it all the time for managing HDRIs, adding HDRIs, and even editing the HDRIs like editing the rotation. So if you're interested in downloading the add-on, then I'll have links in the description to the Gumroad page. So the add-on is completely free, but if you find the add-on is useful and you'd like to help support me and the add-on creator, you can use my affiliate link in the description and just add a few dollars into the price box or add whatever you think the add-on is worth. And that's a great way to help support me and the creator. So so thank you all for your support. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.